sorry it's been a while I posted um, stuff concerning my tutorials it's been quite um, difficult to get the materials to sew and to put all I planned on sewing together because of the lockdown but I thought instead of just um, okay I had some issues with the due to the lockdown and also lighting um, which I'm still working on so that my next video um, tutorial concerning cutting and sewing would be would be a lot clearer than the last one I posted. You notice the background was noisy, the light wasn't so clear. So while working on it, I'm still trying to upgrade it. Okay. Um, whilst we're doing that, I, I on my Instagram page, I um, or rather the business Instagram page, Precious Daniel. Uh, I got, I get I, I do I upload a lot of stories with a lot of um, fashion illustrations. Um, drawings on my stories and also on my whatsapp status so I get to um, have a lot of conversation with some of my clients and um, students and also people interested in fashion buzz me here and there to ask oh I like to learn fashion illustration I like to learn one or two things from you <laughs> even, if I'm, even though I'm still learning because fashion illustration is uh, it's not just a one bus stop it's not something you just learn and drop and you get, just get perfect at once it's a process so I posted something up. When, when I, I interact with them, so I just thought to share something of that nature on my on the page or the business page. So uh, once I did that, I got some feedbacks. Some feedbacks that oh, why not you put this on your YouTube channel so we can see, so I can have an idea on how to go about our, um, freehand pencil sketches. So I said okay, let me just do a quick video for freehand. So I I, I I'm I'm currently doing one. Oh, well, I'm going to do one. To show you how to start off with drawing on a mannequin, like mannequin is like um, the easiest part to to draw your ideas on. I don't know if you understand, but it's a lot easier than drawing a whole female figure. It's 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 it's. Uh, I get a lot of questions or a lot of um, um, okay questions. They ask me, oh me, I, I, some of them tell me, oh I like to draw. I know how to draw a dress in my mind. I prefer to draw a dress, but when I think of how to draw the human body, it's quite difficult. So how can I do? How what should I do? And I, I just tell them, well, if I'm too lazy to sketch the human figure, because I like freehand a lot, I do a lot of freehand. It helps me build my sketching skills, and it, it just makes my hand really flexible. So I do it a lot. So I tell them, okay, what I normally do if I want to escape the stress of, of um, what's it called? The stress of um drawing the whole female figure before I put my dress ideas on it or my outfit ideas on it. I just, just do a rough sketch of a mannequin. It helps a lot. So that's what I'll be doing now in the next video you'll see. I'll draw a sketch on a mannequin. I'll put an idea of what's in my mind on a mannequin. And I hope it helps you. And okay, to get started with that, to help you get started with that, you need a, um, a drawing book. This is my sketchbook. I don't joke with this. This is my sketchbook. I do not joke with this. Then I have sharpened, well sharpened pencils. Still don't joke with my sharpened pencils. I have a lot of pencils actually. I have 2B, I have HB, I have I have different pencils for different shades. So I just keep them with me and the sharpener of course and erase are very important. So this, these are all you need. You don't need to <laughs> buy the whole market or you know search everywhere for something. This is just what you really need. Your book, your, sorry, your sketchbook. It can be a drawing book or a note or a book, but don't get something that has lines already on it because I don't work with, I, I, I don't work with already inscripted templates. It's plain, it's plain from start to end. So I build everything from start to end. And if you really want to maybe join your, learn your fashion illustration or start to just kick off from somewhere, get a plain sheet if you really want to be, it helps. It's tiring actually to have to draw all the templates, the body shape, but when you know how to do it, man, it's going to be worth your while, wow, worth your hustle. And me, I'm still on that journey. I keep doing it every day because I'm not yet there. I'm not yet where I want to be. I don't think I'll ever be where I want to be because it's a journey. It's a long journey. You keep improving as time goes on. So these are what you need. Your, your drawing book, your pencils, well sharpened pencil, your sharpener close to it, and your eraser. All right, so let's get to work. Okay, guys. So I'm about to start the mannequin uh, figure. I, most times I normally start with the with the neck for all my templates for all my beat um, the human figure or I like to start with <laughs> the neck it guides me to whatever I'm doing but since I'm since I'm doing uh, since I'm going to be drawing 
a mannequin i think it's a lot easier than the human figure as i said earlier okay so this is what is what i'll do I'll just just take it like this I, I, I go all the way to the neck like this so w once i do this it guides me to the other part of the body so i i just give a little bit of curve here to highlight the bust the the bust region then i go all the way down like this like this now i'm going to be drawing a, a, a mannequin a mannequin wearing a blouse and a pants so i'll go all the way down here so like this like this like this okay so i've got some what i want but i'm not done yet with the lower figure i'll still go up um i'll still go beneath but let me get the let me first finished work on the let me first get done with the blouse then i'll go all the way to the man to the bottom part which is the pants the trousers so i'm trying to put my design on my idea on the mannequin all the way like this okay i want to do a flay kind of top like this and of course there's not going to be hand there won't be hand rather so I'll just go all the way down like this like this this is a flay kind of um, stuff. I'll do it like this, like this, like this, and like this. So I have a lot of flay underneath it. <laughs> Sorry, my dog is barking. You can hear the dog at the background. It's <laughs> lockdown here has been so not easy. But what would we do? Keep going. So sorry for the background. <laughs> music my dog the background so okay so this is it for for this so i will go to i've not done any cleaning yet but i know definitely i would be i would be cleaning i just want to draw all my lines get all my lines ready before i i clean so it doesn't interrupt um here i'll be going from okay so this should do let me get my eraser let me get this take here it's okay i'm doing it like all the way down like this your hand has to be a little bit free it has to be free i know f making your hands uh, uh, free it's it doesn't don't you just come in a day you have to you have to do constant practice i'm still working on my freehand um, technique so yeah that's for it so um, i'll do some cleaning now because the pencil edges i've gotten what i want i've gotten what i need the design is out so i just need to make it really neat really neat don't forget your pencil has to be sharpened like well sharpened so it gives you what you want at the end of the day you could still see my figure here but after we're done we're going to trim out sorry we're going to erase out what we don't want to see on the on the dress what we don't really need so this is it this so it's looking like a spiral top now at the end of the day okay so now I, I, I quickly want us to do the trouser part the pants it's a high I think my mannequin was too big but but no worries I would uh, I will still try to do what I wanted to do I guess it's a, it's a boot cut pants so <laughs> So this is it. All the way down. So if you notice here it's pretty smaller. Sometimes if I have all the time in the world, I just go all the way to measure the ties to as in to, to measure to see if it's 
if it's the same size if if they are both the same size so but so most times i don't I just I just use my eyes to to gauge it and if you see if you notice this side is still thinner than this side so i'll do it all the way till i get what i want till i get the actual width and size that i want okay so this is it now okay so that's it it's a boot cut pants like i told you Yeah, it's, yes, it looks fa uh, thinner than the the left part, so I'll still go all the way down like this, all the way down like this. So yeah, I've gotten what I want, so I go all the way down to this place. Now this is an image of what I really want. I really want, though it's still rough, it's still very rough. So I would, what I'll do, I would, of course, this this is a dress. It's not a transparent dress. It's not a transparent blouse so and i don't want i don't want to start seeing the body the angle of the sorry about that i don't want to start seeing the 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 bust of course you won't see through except it's a it's a a free dress sorry except it's a free um sorry a, a transparent dress so you clean out all the edges you don't want to be seen clean it out neatly like this now so it's off now you can see only the dress you can see only the dress here yeah, i'm not so I'm, I'm i'm not so comfortable with this angle so i'll clean it off i'll still i'll still try as much as possible to do what i want to do sorry just need to take it up a bit and try as much as possible to do what i want to do then i go all the way down to give my i i i, I didn't feel the spiral flow in the in the sketch so i'm still trying to bring it out to make sure my curve come out just as i want it to just as i want it to so sorry here yeah, yeah, didn't come out well this one so i'll do it like this make it come out really well just as i want yes yeah, well I'm still clean all the way down. Mm -hmm. So I'm still erasing. I'm trying to make it really neat. You have to do a whole lot of erasing when you're working with your your pencil, like freehand, till you get what you want. You keep erasing and erasing and erasing till you're satisfied with your outcome. Okay, so that's for this. So basically your pencil has to really be sharp so now i can see i have i have a flay i have it but i need i need edges i need it to have edge i need it to have an edge so i go like this like a pleats pleats kind of um effect so once i draw the pleats i shade it so it gives me a darker shade and it's obvious that this is a pleats this side is going to have pleats this side that are darker they are the inner part of the the dress this is darker it will shade it to give us the the effect of what we want so it's obvious so when you want to color you know where where you color to make darker and where you color to make lighter so this is this is really a rough sketch of pencil of of pen on pencil on the paper freehand so I'm, I'm erasing this now because this is this part of the shoulder of the mannequin of course we don't want to see through it's not a see-through so that have been different if it's a see-through um stuff so like this 
to have been different so with this it's obvious that there is there are pleats there are pleats on it So uh, the trouser still comes all the way down like this so I'm going to do something like a knee just put this to give this of course it gives this edge when you're wearing pants the, the, it, to, to, to highlight where the knee is it gives it this real form okay so, so this is it Okay, so I'm going to take my time now to make it really, really neat. But let's just give all the angles that we want. Because this, this material you'll be working with is going to be free cotton. You can have denim as the trouser, as the pants. You can have 100% cotton as the trouser. You can also do thick silk, um, thick silk material as well for, for it to so go all the way down like this so so to give me the final touch of the mannequin before i before i go all the way to really making it neat i just give this you know this how mannequin most times it comes with this knob or twist or whatever it's called just to make it a full-time mannequin Alright, so the mannequin for the day spiral. Stuff. Oh sorry, it's weird. It's okay, so this is it. I'll go all the way now to make it really neat. Nice. 